Good morning. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer this morning, Friday, January 14th. Our morning prayer this morning is from the Book of Alternative Services. I invite you to give yourself a moment or two to prepare your heart as we enter into morning prayer as I light our candle. There we go. Let us begin. This morning through morning prayer, we're going to remember Hilary, who was Bishop of Portiers and teacher of the faith who died on the 13th of January in the year 367. So today we remember Hilary, who was a Bishop of Portiers and a teacher of the faith. Because I live, you will live also. You will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. Dear friends in Christ, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O come, let us worship. Now we will pray the Venite. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving and be glad in God with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In God's hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are God's also. The sea is God's, for God made it, and God's hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God. We are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading for today is taken from the first letter of Timothy, beginning at the second chapter. Hold to the standard of sound teaching that you have heard from me, in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. You then, my child, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And what you have heard from me through many witnesses, entrust to faithful people who will be able to teach others as well. Share in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm appointed for today is a portion of the 119th Psalm. It is verses 161 to 168. So Psalm 119. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous ordinances. Great, great peace have those who love your law 
nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I fill your commandments. My soul keeps your decrees, I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Glory to the Creator, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and evermore shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second reading is from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. It is from the 12th chapter, and it's verses 8 through 12. Jesus said, And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the Church. So today we honor Hilary, a bishop and hero of the Catholic faith in the 4th century Gaul. Born and raised in paganism, he inherited great wealth married and had a daughter, and gained prestige as a public advocate in his native Poitiers, a city in what is now southwestern France. Around the age of 30, he began to study Christian beliefs in private. His reading and reflection led him to seek baptism in the year 350. The Christians of Poitiers recognized his gifts of mind and character, and two or three years later, They elected him as their bishop. At that time, two movements were locked in bitter contest for control of the church. On one side, the Catholic movement upheld the Nicene Creed with its affirmation that the Son of God is of one being with the Father and insisted that this doctrine was the only possible basis for Christian life and practice. On the other side, The Arian movement accused the Nicene faith of violating the utter oneness of God. Hilary cast his lot with the Catholics and immediately became a serious irritation to the Iranians. They happened to enjoy the favor of the Roman Emperor, and their complaints about Hilary's effectiveness in defending Nicene principles provoked the Emperor into exiling him from his diocese. Hilary spent three years in Asia Minor, and during this banishment deepened his commitment to Orthodox theology. His presence became such an embarrassment to the Iranians in the East that they convinced the emperor to banish him again, back to his own diocese of Portiers. Upon his return, Hilary rallied the neighboring bishops in opposition to the Iranianism, and before his death, on January 13th, in the year 367, He had turned his entire province into a bastion of the Nicene faith. So today we remember Hillary. Not often does someone get banished away and then banished back. So that's interesting to hear. Let us now together confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to assume whatever posture you find most prayerful for the prayers of the people. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, Have mercy. 
Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others as he has loved us. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of the Lord's life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. Let us take a moment to offer the prayers of our hearts unto the Lord our God. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, Creator, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray the Collect of the Day. Lord our God, you called your servant Hilary to guard with compassion the good of your church and to preserve by his steadfast witness the fullness of Catholic teaching. Keep us firm in the faith professed at our baptism, that as your Son made his dwelling with us, so we may always abide in him who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior taught us, let us pray together the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the God of peace enable us to do God's will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory for ever and ever. And the blessing, my friends, of God Almighty, Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with us all today and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and maybe we'll see you online on Sunday. Take care, be safe, and God bless you all.